But enough about Lance. What about Bob? I, I mean, Leiden. Yeah, we want to patch him up. And the Duke can stand at his side. Brothers in arms, these two. Surrounded by archers, everything's looking pretty good for them. I don't foresee any complications on that side. Really not worried about anybody right now, to tell you the truth. If I was concerned for anybody on my team, on our team, excuse me, it would be Albert. And I think he's fine too, because really look where he's at, you know. But I think those gargoyles would rip into him just a little bit, so I might want to keep him back to deal with Lance's men. Not quite sure yet. Definitely don't want to send him forward to the castle center. Magic user and archers. With the attack boosts are going to be getting from him. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I would not like any of that. Yeah, we better just patch everybody up here. Taylor's still not quite safe, so... If they want to get to him, they got to go through our mermen first. It's battle one all over again. Shades of the same. Except we're so much stronger. Ain't it great? It's nice to feel like you're actually progressing through time. And not regressing. You know? Yeah, I think we just want to surround all of our leaders right now. You know, it's great having commanders who don't mind being on the front lines at the head of the action, but there's a time and a place for everything. And right now, this is a time to kind of kick back, lay in the cut, so to speak. And here to kick things off. Yeah, see, it's that 30 attack that they have. That's what makes them such a pain. So they're capable of doing decent damage to even somebody on Leiden's level. Okay, I'm more concerned about this side. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, soldiers, even with those stats, didn't do too well. So they're going to fold really quickly. Now the monks, however, might do a little better. Yeah, that's noticeably better. I'll take that. And oh, the soldiers. And notice they're on the, okay, they were on the castle wall and that made all the difference. They actually survived. Wow. Did you see what that one soldier did? I, I did see that right. Yes. the. I wasn't just me. Mm, impressive. Okay, the mermen are going to be doing the best out of everybody over here right now. Well, between them and the monks. Good start, guys. Now, if your defense holds out. Only lost one. Excellent. Yeah, this is going really good. Don't even have as many troops over here as I would have liked, but it's panning out quite well. But see, I tried to hold back a little bit. I don't want to give everybody eight troops or six troops. Not unless I feel like they could really use them. And see, Albert, for example, has a lot more troops than he needed, but I didn't think they would live up to this point. So that's the only reason I did that. Next time, I'm just going to give him two or three at the most, I think. Or maybe none at all. You know, that's another thing that was an option.
Yeah, we're gonna set him up there. Perched up top like a bird. Sing, little sparrow, sing. Songs of war. With hopes of love. That follows the peace that our actions will hopefully bring. Away from the storm of the nightmare of Dulcis, rain terror and woes upon every family that opposes their notions of justice. But we know they're corrupted. <laughs> and that's as far as I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Alright, let's start digging into them. They're looking for treasure in all the wrong places. Yep, yeah, we're just gonna make sure everybody's as healthy as possible, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something with Albert and his men. They're just kinda taking up real estate right now. At this rate, they're gonna start growing moss on their armor. But hey, green's a good color. Unless you happen to be a gargoyle. So. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I was going to dip them with a splash of red. Change the color scheme a bit, but I decided to decline. Couldn't hit enough of them with it. I did like the idea of Jessica being able to attack without getting too close, but it's not like she's in danger. I mean, look at all these people we have here. And then you've got the Mermen who are getting Taylor to level five. I almost called him Tiburon that time, but it's not as if that isn't his name, too. So, there you go. I wonder if Tiburon is a real name in real life. Never heard of it before. It's a pretty cool name, though. Nothing wrong with Taylor, either, though. Taylor does sound like a pirate's name. I could definitely... Imagine a Captain Taylor. I don't know. It it kind of fits. It's not too extravagant, but it's, it's appropriate. There you go, guys. Not to show off or anything, but... Let's see. Where to go, where to go, where to go. Probably would have been a good idea to start retreating, making them get away from the water and the castle wall. They're going to get a defense bonus no matter what because they're flying, but it would have been less. But it doesn't really matter. It's not too many of them left even. Oh, but that's right. They can cast fireball too. I knew there was something about them that I didn't like. And I knew that was the reason why I brought extra troops. It was because, yeah, they can do that. And that's when bunching up your people is bad. Because they can do that. And now we're not going to be as effective in our attacks because we're not at full strength. And you know how the game works. You are not going to be able to do the maximum amount of damage to anybody if your health is deteriorated. And see, lead in there. He's at five now. Not something we're used to seeing with him. This is maybe the second, at most, third time since he's been king, I think, in this playthrough that he's been reduced so low. Thankfully, his defense will hold out, but we've got to heal up no matter what. Yeah, Hawking is not going to do so well against them. Just like his soldiers, that fighting class of soldier, they don't seem to fare very well against most monster types. I guess their blade just doesn't quite cut it. They need to trade it in for some adamantium or Halcom or Mithril, whatever's passing for the strongest material. So now I'm kind of more worried about the southern side instead of the north, because here up north, we've pretty much got it handled. They're not even bothering with Taylor and his men because they know it's futile. 
They'd be better off having a stare down contest with the sun. Whoa, 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 whoa. That always amuses me. And that's about the only thing that's amusing me right now. I'm really not happy with those wyverns and their fireball. Only when I do it is it okay. <laughs> but they're all kind of hurting too, so that almost evened the playing field. I'd like to think we still have the upper hand though. How about you, Hawking? Yes, you agree? That's good. Because you're close to level two that fast. Yeah, see, I could have brought some men for Hawking to help him get more experience, but I wasn't really too pressed about it. Depending on how things go in the next fight, he should also get some good experience. But that's a mighty long bridge, so we're definitely going to wait till we come to that before we try to cross it. In the meantime, in between time, we're going to swap out for somebody who's a little bit sturdier, a little more solid. And this is probably what I'm going to keep doing. We're just going to tag team it. That way they will not be able to take out any of my archers. Very rare for a cavalry class unit to take out archers at 10 health in one round. Yeah, I didn't think they'd fare too well, but at least they took them out too, so. Again, everybody goes in a blaze of glory. If I gotta go, you gotta go. We're all gonna go. I'm gonna slip you in here. Creep on up. They weren't quite ready, obviously. They did take a few of us with them. I'm not pleased by that fact. Feeling a little bit better about it now, though. Ah, where's your fireball now? Not here when you need it. And get ready to use that archer next time. Only because I knew they could handle it. And really, I don't even need to have an archer perched on that wall. That's just to try to coax more of the horsemen into coming forward. Try to, you know, make the most of each turn. Going for maximum efficiency here. Efficiency equals experience in a game like Langerser. Don't you know? I do know I want to do something with Taylor, but... Yeah, I probably should get him in the water and attack him. Yes. Because he's so good at it. I probably should have considered having him attack the Wyvern while he wasn't at full health so he wouldn't have killed it. But he would have did a lot of damage to it. Only reason I didn't do that was because I'm not really sure. He might take a lot of damage himself. So, really don't want to play that card. And being in the water, he I'm 90% sure he would have been fine. But there's a time to take chances. That wasn't one. Now, if I had cast Fireball earlier, I would have felt better about doing it. But I didn't think about it. Ooh. Wow. They did better than I was expecting. Yeah, so Merman, they have their uses. Let the record show. And Chris's throwing arm is still in good shape, we can see there, so no worries over here. 
And they can wrap that up for her. It's a joint effort here. That's what I like to see. Hand arm. <laughs> You're the new lead and just kind of here for show. Look at me, everybody. I'm super strong and I'm not doing a thing. I could take out anybody on this map, but I'm just sitting put. Oh, guys, you couldn't have just ended their misery and just cleaned them all up. Nope, just had to leave that one. That's not merciful. Let me just put that out here now. If you leave one guy out of a group alive, don't think you're doing him any favors. Unless you consider giving somebody a traumatic life experience that they'll carry with them for the rest of their days a favor. I don't. Yeah, that was the right thing to do. Gotta keep these men ticking. Keep those little hearts a bopping and beating. Yeah, Hawking, I would be concerned, but there's only a few of them left. We gotta clean them up. Who's gonna do it? Yeah, Albert could handle that one. In fact, his men could even handle it, so. Again, we want to make the most of our people. We brought them for a reason, right? So, trying to get our money's worth here. Pay top dollar for these horsemen. Oh yes, mounted units are not cheap. And do you have any idea how much a meal for one of them costs? Let alone a whole battalion, oh man. All right, there. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get through us. I almost feel sad for them. Bye bye. So long and fairly well. And they really don't. Yeah, let me do that. Maybe, maybe. They will attack all three archers there. Again, just to expedite the whole thing. Because if I take out all of the wyverns and Lance and his men are still around, well. Because don't forget, we still got that spell user to deal with. That's going to be the main event right there. And he's got the meanest archers that we've seen up to this point. Yeah, they look the same as all the other ones we've fought. Or Dark Elves, excuse me, but trust me. Past experience talking here. Those guys. I don't know what they're tipping their arrows with, but it's quite nasty. Brutal even. And we best be prepared. Albert goes without saying he's not going anywhere near them. Not even at full health. So he can forget about that one. Obviously I'm trying to give it to somebody else because Taylor and his men could easily take care of this thing. But he's already level 5 in his final class. Yeah, he doesn't need the experience at all. Not in the least bit. Yeah, Wyvern's healing, not that it's gonna help. It's that same old story once again. Here they come charging in. Here we go, not caring.
any sane man would go back the way he came, but Lance is far from that. He's so far gone, in fact, that for him, I think there's no turning back.